Hello, cartoon Arab here. How are you? Tennis. 60 seconds. Never liked him. Remember the seagull? <laughs> I played Chagorin and he doubled up one the servant. Um, yes, hello. Uh, look, I haven't got all day, so what I need to know from you is how many people are playing. Just the one of you. How cosy. Now, name, please. And stick in a Z. There is no excitement here. Uh, one other thing. I also need to know if you had plans for a 21-question game or a 7-question tournament situation. Okay, I'll arrange that for you. 30 seconds. Now remember this because this is important. Your buzzer is the letter B. Come on, everyone. 20 seconds. Okay, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you do buzz in, you've only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash. Comprende? 10 seconds down. Lovely. Lose Eight, the desktop. Seven, Code graphics and engine Stay to black. Five, Thanking go, you. Have a good show. Jack Snacks alternative meat products include endangered species. Welcome to the show. Oh, solid air. No friends. From the list of categories, pick a category. Oh, baby. You're the one. And the category is... Uh, red or white with that, sir? Get it right, and I'll give you three grand. Okay, it's dinner party time. You've gone to a whole heap of trouble to rustle up a delicious spread when disaster strikes. I'm sorry, see the dinner guests. We, we just can't eat your food as we are all committed technophages. What should you do? Serve the metal, hide all your pets, take away the tablecloth, or lock up your children. That really isn't very right at all. And the answer is... Lock up your children! Pick a category now. The name of this question is... It's all Australian to me! Two thousand pounds ready and waiting for the right answer. Oh Moses, that is the last time I jam a straw up my nose and suck. Can't remember a bloody sausage. Uh, buzz in and type in when you know the name of that creature, will you? Yes, now the animal I can't remember comes from a land down under, I seem to think. Yes, it's one of those, um, mar mask, uh, marklup marlupin, marksupias. Yes, what it does is it, it burrows into the ground and makes this lovely little nest uh, to live in. Uh, yes, although I can't remember anything, I, I seem to think that, uh... Oh, come on, Nobby! Uh. That's it. Yeah, that's the fella. That little ugly bastard. A wombat. <laughs> Tasty little buggers. Choose a cat. Question three. And the next question is... <laughs> Novi Mutants. As far as the sheet's available, two grand is up for grabs. Okay, listen carefully. You're a screenwriter. So here it is. You want to write a vehicle for Charles Bronson and Kevin Klein. If you were to combine the names of previous films they've made, what could the film be called? My Dirty Dozen Vinny, A Death Wish Called Wanda, The Big Pill, or Snow White and the Magnificent Seven Dwarf? A fish called Wanda meets Death Wish. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll shoot a fish in the face. Choose a cat. The light sounds of question four. In terms of category, this is... Some of us are trying to sleep. 1K uh, on offer for this one. The question is as follows. 
If I had a dry biscuit while watching a musical by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber, what would I be crunching? An eclair at hair, a bath oliver at oliver, a rivita at a vita, or a niece at quiz? A Rivita at a Vita. <laughs> Rivita and a Vita, the perfect match. Dull, dry, square, and completely tasteless. Come on, let's have one. Do a photo and you don't know Jack. And now, messing a bat on the river. You could be getting yourself 2,000 for the right answer. Remember the book Swallows and Amazons, a picturesque ideal of childhood on the Norfolk Broads? Ah. Oh. Now, if the Amazons got militant and decided to be more like their ancient namesakes, what should they do? Cut off their right breasts, sing songs to lure the swallows onto the rocks, grow snakes out of their hair, or steal the swallows? The Amazons were the tribe of warrior women who cut off one of their breasts so they could be better archers. <laughs> Imagine the Children's Film Foundation doing that version. Using your brain. Aha! Chestbot Tits Crime Store. It's time for. Tingling There's a gibberish category for ya. The greatest chat up line ever. The gibberish questions in this round start off at £5,000. Remember, speed's the key. The quicker you solve this, the more money you make. Here comes the greatest chat-up line since, Hi, I'm Adam. Which famous catchphrase does it rhyme with? Clock a hard, weenie quaking, hot bird. Hi, I'm Barry White. Got a hard, weenie quaking, hot bird. It's a request for a favorite drink. Make mine an extra, extra large one. A drink request uttered by a famous film character. Here's your last clue, babe. A film character who has a license to kill. Baby, I swear to God, it's the first time this has ever happened to me, baby. I, I need a drink. Oh! Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Hey, baby, I'm back. Fancy a stiff one. Come here. You got any cat goods on you, man? Come on, this one. The 7 o'clock news with question 7. Categorically, this is the category of... A slip of the tongue. And I'll give you £2,000 if you get it right. Undercarriage down. Let's land this question. The guard at the zoo said, Hey, the spotted owl is just one of the many birds on the endangered faeces list. This is an example of what? Conundrum, rebus, malapropism or palindrome. <laughs> A malapropism is a comical misusage of a word. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious when old women do it in sitcoms, no? Categorically speaking... Order me the taco plate with a side of question eight. Next up, repetitive beats and the People's Republic of China. Three thousand pounds if you get it right. Come on, then you start in... If China were to MC a heavy drum and bass gig for its 16 immediate neighbours, which of the following would you not hear? Mash out the pool, India, Malaysia does not border China. <laughs> and therefore has to queue up at the metalheads like everyone else. Please. Oh, here's number nine. And your choice is a dodgy practice. £2,000 for this little baby. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful day for answering a question about Ken Dodd. Now, if one of Ken Dodd's diddy men did a paradiddle, what did the diddy man do? Play a, a paradiddle is a drum roll with alternate beating of sticks. <laughs> if only an alternate beating of sticks and Ken Dodd were featured in the same sentence more often. OK, pick a category. So, you picked this one. A uh, very late result just in. We got 1,000 quids because it's a little bit peasy. There's a question coming. I can just smell it. So, what do you think is going to be the result of the big fight tomorrow night? Androcles versus the Lion, live at the Athenium. Androcles in the first by knockout, Lion by technical knockout, match abandoned or a draw, both dead.
The contest was abandoned because the lion and Androcles refused to fight. The lion recognized Androcles, who had taken a thorn from his paw when the poor man was lost in the desert. <laughs> Such an instance was unique in combat sports until 1996, when Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield resolved the WBA heavyweight title by nuzzling up together in the corner. Well, that's the first round over. Who's getting the next one in there? What is so ingenious about round two is that there's actually twice as much cash available, but that cash uh, can be won or lost. Do you follow me? Choose. It's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. It's 11. And you went for the one called... Which witch? And this one's worth £2,000. Think back now to that classic movie, The Wizard of Oz. If a cartographer made a map of Oz and put the faces of its famous witches from the movie at the appropriate points on the compass, which point would be witchless? North, east, west or south? Whose feet do you think those are under the house? Now here's what someone intelligent would have said. Ah! There is no Wicked Witch of the South in the movie. Most Wicked Witches in the South have moved on to PR. Cap <laughs> 12. Celebrity voice impersonated. This one's called... Oh God, what's it all for? And this question's worth £4,000. I'm going through a spiritual crisis right now. Are we godless shadows passing into oblivion in a Darwinian universe? Or is there a god? Who can I turn to for advice? I asked an agnostic, an atheist, and a fundamentalist, is there a god? And they replied, you know, maybe, no, yes, and no, yes, maybe, no, yes, may west, or definitely maybe, no. Agnostics aren't sure about the existence of a god. Atheists are sure there is one, and fundamentalists are sure there is one. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I give a toss. Choose a category. I love 13 number 13. Uh -huh. In categorical terms, you have chosen... Grease my ass. 6,000 notes if you get it right. Turn there. Kill him. Groped us. Bashed ham. If Zorba the Greek was a Greek Zorba, where might you find him? At Thessaloniki General Hospital, soaking up water in the Ionian Sea, rolling down Mount Olympus in a plastic ball, or skateboarding around the Aquapolis. <laughs> Zorbing is a new sport from New Zealand which involves rolling down hills in a plastic ball. Uh, MTV are staging the first World Championships in Holland next year. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Pick a category. Excellent choice, player. Let's play this or that. And the category for this this or that question is... A 24-hour jackathon. Hey, hey, here's the exciting Simon Bryce, a veteran of the procedure. Here we go. Independence, what is it? Of the living dead. Mayor on Elm Street. Of the jackal. Oh no! Of the triffid. Last one, the S. That's all seven. <laughs> Well, anyone wrong? Pretty damn good, soldier. What a handsome score it is. Now let's move on. From the list of categories, pick a category. You have selected... Say hello to your grandpa, darling. I'm willing to offer you 4,000 crisp green sheets. Bloody hell, I held my breath for 15 minutes and now... I can't remember nothing. I seem to have done myself some damage. What is the name of that film? Buzz in and type it in for me if you remember it. It's a famous horror film from the 1970s. A lot of people banned it from being shown because it was so scary. It's got a scary little levitating girl in it. In it? Yeah, and her head rotates and she's got good vibes. Go for it. 
that's it, The Exorcist, with the little vomiting girl. <laughs> Have you done your binary homework, darling? <laughs> Your mother is a whore of Babylon. Well, just as long as you don't forget. All right, love. You got any categories on you, man? Come on, give me. King 16! Hail to the king! OK, let's have one called Doomed Love and Horrific Disease. And we are talking 4,000 quid for the right answer. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money. But after a few weeks, they began to suffer aching joints, bleeding gums and dry skin. What should the owl and the pussycat have taken with them to prevent the onset of these symptoms? A crate of Ribena, a crate of Perrier, a bottle of Gordon's gin or powdered rhino horn? Ribena contains vitamin C, essential to prevent the onset of scurvy. <laughs> Ravers are also avid Ribena drinkers. In fact, on a good night, they can average about 10 cartons an hour, uh, with some ease. Please select... And here we have... Ancient gods and twiglets. And it's a £4,000 question. Fingers on the buzzers, here's the question. The mythological gods of Greece and Rome are at the deity convention drinks party. Which Greek god might run into his Roman counterpart wearing exactly the same name tag? Dionysus, god of wine, Hades, god of the underworld, Hermes, messenger of the gods, or Apollo, god of beauty? Both the Roman and Greek versions were named Apollo. But only one of them liked Moussaka. Using your brain... 18. This one's called... Zodiac This. As far as the sheets available, two grand is up for grabs. Oh, you smell that? That's the stench of question. Which symbol of the zodiac has a body that is not genetically possible? Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, or Cancer? Sagittarius, the archer. <laughs> half man, half horse. And lucky for him, the horse is on the lower half. Categorically... Like a bad Hollywood scene, it was question 19. <laughs> and this one's called... The best KGB album in the world. Ever. You give me the right answer, I'm going to give you £4,000. You are invited to the Pravda office party. I, Yuri Kekimov, will be the DJ. Please make a record request. Choose a record that is closest in the meaning to the word Pravda, or I will send your score to the short minds. True by Spandau Ballet. Words by... Da! Pravda means truth in Russian. <laughs> Spandau Ballet, they are so groovy. Puffball skirts, I like Nick Cayman. Does that Felix guy still present the tube? Cool, man. Okay, pick a category. The Fresh Saver. 20. And the category is... Let me guess. You're a hack. You could be getting yourself 2,000 for the right answer. Here's the question, fingers ready. If the Tory writer of First Among Equals renamed himself after the star sign most relevant to his name, what would he be called? John Virgo, Buster Cancer, Jeffrey Sagittarius, or Michael Pisces? Sagittarius is the archer, add that to Jeffrey, and you get... <laughs> Actually, Jeffrey's books are a lot like the horoscopes, always the same, always disappointing, and written by a complete fraud. Come on, let's have one. <laughs> It's time for the attack! Oh, so you know the Jack Attack drill. Here's your clue. You're playing games with me. Don't mess with me, you swine. But I wish you luck, because I like you.
much fake cash you've amassed. That's the game! Aerial scores through the roof, and you better patch it up before anyone notices, because I've already noticed that. You are no Jack! Okay, everyone, yep, that was good. Okay, let's run the commercials now. Murray, uh -huh. what's going on with the contestants? You've got the high score. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Great. You're still a friendless moron. And I'm getting an idea why. Just call me when you want to play some more, by the way. What gives? Spackney. It's spackle for your acne. Less colored mortar that you apply with our new neon spackney. It's waterproof, windproof, flame retardant, and scuff resistant. Spackney. It'll smooth you out. Spackney. Works better than grout. Spackney. Say adios to your acne. Also available, back knee for your stubborn back acne, and for those really hard to reach places, try new crack knee. Hey Carly, you see that cute guy behind me? I think he's checking out my butt. Um, no offense Sharon, but I really don't think so. Oh, don't be jealous Carly. Believe me, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is, Sharon, you don't have a butt. It may sound funny to you, but not to someone with congenitally flat buttocks. Hello, my friends. It's Ira Pudlis, and I'm here to tell you about a brand new product designed for those of us with a gluteal deficiency. It's called Free Butt, and here's how it works. Right before you go to bed, spread a handful of the Free Butt flavor crystals on your tushy. <coughs> let it set for a few minutes, add water, and go to sleep. And then let Free Butt go to work. In the morning, you'll have an ample bottom the whole family can enjoy. Hooray! a girl! And just think how impressed your friends will be. Hey there, Carly. Sharon? Oh my god, look at your ass! It's a miracle! <laughs> no, it's not a miracle. It's free a butt. All I can say is, girl, you are back. 